All right, all right, all right. It's Jan back on Mike's Facebook page. <laughs> Again, I have to do this for 30 days since I've been banned from Facebook Lives for 30 days. It's a long story. So if you want to know more about it, then uh, yeah, uh, let me know and I'll message you about it. Anyway, it's crazy um, what gets banned on Facebook. But anyway, today is a great treat. This is Cloud Bread or AKA Revolution Rolls. And I think that actually this recipe has been around for a while. I think it may have originated out of the old Dr. Atkins eating plan. Um, and then it's been sort of changed a little bit to make it less fat, you know, because Atkins was high fat, sort of like a keto diet. Um, I did Atkins, you know, and it, it worked short term and then, you know, <laughs> you just gain the weight back. So anyway, it was a good concept in, um, a lot of you may be like me, uh, many, many years ago, I pretty much eliminated bread from my diet um, just because I have lymphocytic colitis and I noticed that gluten really ser seemed to irritate me and um, was not too good. And since my doctor said, hey, if we can you know, monitor this and control it with diet, that's always gonna be better than prescription drugs. So anyway, so I was already kind of a gluten-free type person anyway, just because I had to be. So this is cloud bread, and um, we're gonna start out with three eggs. And I went ahead and separated the egg whites and the egg yolks with two of them first, because I didn't trust myself to do all three. And I know just as soon as I do this on video, I'm probably gonna mess up this egg, but anyway, if not, you know, I'll just get another, another egg. But anyway, you just want to separate. Those of you who are not used to doing this, just try it. It's not that hard. Um, I do it this way. I also have an egg separator over there that I'll show you here in a minute. But really, I just let the white ooze out and take the yolk. And I got pretty good at this, making chocolate pies for Matthew for his birthday. Um, but it's really not that hard, and if you break an egg, you break an egg, okay? So that's it. So now we have three egg yolks in this bowl, and then we have three egg whites over here in this bowl. So um, now um, this is the egg separator. If you don't want to do it manually, you can buy one of these little egg things where you crack the egg in here, and it separates out. I, I find it easier to do it the other way, just maybe because I've always done it that way. So now we're gonna take 1 16th of a teaspoon um, of cream of tartar, and I only go to 1 8th of a teaspoon in the measuring, so it's very little, okay? And that's 1 16th. And then if you've ever done meringue, uh, you know, I grew up thinking meringue was like such a big deal but it really isn't such a big deal, okay? So you're really gonna just beat these whites. And the highest speed possible. And some of you may have a fancier mixer. And then you just have to be patient with it. Um, that's part of the problem with people who make meringue or you know, beat the egg whites, is they rush it and they think this is good enough and it's not. You know, you need to do it a little bit longer. So just hang with it. It's a beautiful day. My uncle got out of the hospital last night with COVID. So I had her up there today because apparently there were some clothes left up there at the hospital. Had to get those, pick those up. Anyway, so I've seen this recipe before and for some reason hadn't really acted on it. And then I thought, you know, I need to try it and see. And they really turned out well last night. I was um, pleased that. So they're plucking up, but they really need more. Okay? So again, you just have to be really patient with it. Hopefully this is not too loud for your little ears. Uh-oh. That was weird. I think I hit the off switch. Oopsie. So again, see how they're, they're looking better. Looking more and more like meringue on a pie. Hi Sonia. 
now. Hey doll, if you're watching, give me a thumbs up. Give me a heart. So, okay. Here's my, my little egg whites. I feel like, no, not Julia Child, because she's not me. Maybe Martha Stewart. I don't know. Do I want to be Martha Stewart? I don't know. So, anyway, here's your little egg whites. And um, now we need to put the cream cheese that's been out in room temperature into the egg yolks. Okay, three tablespoons of cream cheese. And then we're just going to mix that and make sure if I'm. Oh, and I need a packet of uh, sweetener. I'm just going to use the Splenda. I don't have any Trulia right now in Trivia. And then I used Xylitol yesterday. Um, that was fine. So I'm just going to use the Splenda today. Don't use the blue packets. It's not good for your brain. Okay, so we're just going to mix this up to where it's real creamy. your little ears but I'm going to try to get all of this white egg white deliciousness mama blocker if you're watching sorry about your ears okay. so mix this up as much as possible okay so now the tricky part it seemed to me was kind of very carefully folding this mixture into the egg white mixture, um, sort of in a controlled fashion. Um, just making sure you guys can see. And really trying to mix it up without over mixing, because you know when you're dealing with egg whites, that is a little bit tricky. Like you don't want to, you just want to kind of fold in, blend, without getting kind of crazy about it. Now, if you don't like eggs, you won't like this, so let me just check on out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest. Now, this is just the cream cheese, the yolk and the sweetener. And then I've got to get out a cookie sheet. I forgot my cookie sheet. Get that out. And parchment paper, because we do not want to put this mixture on a cookie sheet without some parchment paper. Can you imagine the mess? Life is too short for that kind of mess. So let me get that out real quick. Okay, so we have a cookie sheet and I need a little measuring cup and I need my parchment paper. Here's the parchment paper and so I find it just easy the easiest thing to do is just to take you know like this is a third cup measuring even a half cup would do because I'll probably end up having to even them out a little bit and make sure yeah y'all can see this overflowing and 
when we're done with this, we're just really just popping them in the oven uh, for about 25, 30 minutes. And now I need to even them out a little bit. What's left in here? Because um, this is actually three servings, but it only counts as like a third lean and then a one and a third condiment, which is kind of a weird little thing. But it's really kind of a quirky little um, recipe. And you think about, you could maybe put, you know, a thin um, beef patty or some other kind of protein in there and eat just like a sandwich. You know, if you really were dying for some bread. So this is this is what it looks like right here. And um, again, I'm just gonna put it in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes and we're good. And then I'll put a picture in the comments. And uh, I guess I gotta add it on to my Facebook timeline too, since this is on Mike's and not mine. So have a good day. Happy Wellness Wednesday. Bye.